everybody. Let's get on our feet. Let's give Sarah Huckabee Sanders a great big South Office on welcome. I don't know if y'all realize it or not, but our state is getting ready to write a new chapter in our history. Because on November the 8th, Sarah Huckabee Sanders is going to be elected the first woman governor of the great state of Arkansas. Now, I'm sure many of you know that Sarah's the daughter of Mike and Janet Huckabee. She's a graduate of Washita Baptist University. And that she was also the former press secretary for Donald Trump yes. at the White House. Yeah. Listen, those things are great, but let me tell you what I know about Sarah from being around her on the campaign trail. She has what I call good old-fashioned South Arkansas common sense. Amen. And when we get that common sense coupled with her training, her education, and her workforce, she is going to be a driving force as a governor to move Arkansas forward. Sarah, come share with us your vision for Arkansas. Thank you so much. I am so looking forward. Matt is going to be an incredible member of Arkansas's legislature, and I cannot wait to work with him. So if you have not already voted, make sure you get out and you vote for him because we need to make sure he is working right alongside me in Little Rock. We've also got a, a couple of other great folks here, uh, Representative Barker, who is somewhere right here, uh, who has quickly become one of my favorites, even though she doesn't uh, live in my district in part because she raised really good sons. Uh, very smart, smart boys. We're working on making sure they work hard, but two of her three kids work on my campaign. So I'm a little partial to, to the representative you guys have here. And then uh, Speaker Shepard, who is somewhere here as well. He's hiding out in the back, but somebody I've known a long time, is a great friend, um, and just a solid conservative for Arkansas. So thank you for what you did. And we're going to, uh, the, with the three of them representing this area, and we're going to do a lot of amazing things for Arkansas. You have great representation, great conservatives, and I look forward to working with them. Over the last year and a half, we have traveled all over the state of Arkansas. We've been to all 75 counties. Uh, now we're going back for the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth time in a lot of places. And the excitement everywhere we go is overwhelming in a good way. There is such a hunger and such an excitement for a new generation of leadership to step in. And we are so happy to finish these next 13 days. Can you believe we only have 13 days to go? I can't say that I'm ready, but I'm really ready for the next 13 days. It, <laughs> it has been just an amazing experience. My husband, Brian, is here with me today. And uh, he has been just a, a constant partner, not just in this, but in everything. And so thankful that we get the chance to do this together. You know, after two and a half years in the White House, I found myself in some pretty interesting places, certainly some pretty challenging rooms. Uh, most of the places I went into, certainly when I picked up the microphone, nobody was ever that excited to see me. I have to say, coming into a friendly crowd, this is a whole lot better. And I am absolutely loving every minute of this. You know, over the course of that time, one of the most interesting and probably one of the most challenging places I ever had the opportunity to go was the very first time that Donald Trump was getting ready to sit down with the North Korean leader, Kim Jong-un. There was just an absolute intensity surrounding this moment. I mean, anytime you're talking about nuclear war, the stakes get pretty high, pretty fast, and the entire world was watching and waiting to see how this would unfold. So as we're walking into this meeting, there were seven representatives on the United States side, and I was one of the seven. There would be seven on the other side of the table representing North Korea, and I kind of started to take stock of the moment and think about